Hi guys, this is Module 3, Lesson 29. Our learning target for today's lesson is that I can divide a four-digit number by 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're going to start today with an application problem. Janet uses four feet of ribbon to decorate each pillow. The ribbon comes in 225-foot rolls. How many pillows will she be able to decorate with one roll of ribbon? Will there be any ribbon left over? I want you to pause the video right now and I want you to draw a tape diagram to represent this problem. Be sure to label the parts that you know and put a variable for the part you don't know. And then after you have that done, hit play to continue. Okay, so here's my tape diagram. I hope you got something similar. Um, I drew the tape diagram here. This represents one roll of ribbon, 225 feet. And I started to draw parts. Each part will be four feet of ribbon. That's for one pillow, two pillow, three pillow. Since I'm trying to solve how many pillows will she be able to decorate with one roll of ribbon, I put a question mark here because I don't know. And that's my variable. And then lastly, will there be any ribbon left over? How will I know if there's ribbon left over? Hopefully you said there'd be a remainder. And if there's a remainder, I'll mark it in my box over here. So to find this out, I'm going to take 225 feet of ribbon and divide it by four because four feet will do a pillow. And my first question is, if I have 225, how many times will 4 go into the 2? Well, it won't, so there won't be a number above this. No number here. I'm going to have to divide into 22. 22 divided by 4. Hopefully you said 5. <clears throat> so 22 tens. 5 times 4 is 20, so we've used 20 tens worth of the ribbon and then I'm going to subtract and that gives me two tens left. I will bring down the five and now I have a new problem to divide. 25 divided by four. How many times? 25 divided by four. Again five times. So since we're doing 25 ones it goes above the ones place. 5 times 4 is 20, so we used another 20, and subtract, and that, oh, I made a mistake. This should be a 6. I just noticed my remainder was too big, so this would be a 4. Got 6 times 4 is 24, and I would have a remainder of 1. And so to show a remainder here, I'm going to just shade in this part right here, and I'm going to put remainder 1. So that's my tape diagram, and then to write my sentence, I say, Janet can make 56 pillows from one roll of ribbon. I'm going to make this a compound sentence, comma, because I have to answer this other part. Will there be any ribbon left over? And she will have one foot of ribbon left over. Okay, I hope you got that answer yourself.
All right, write this problem in your notebook. And then underneath, draw it in the house. And we're going to do a division problem. Divide four thousands by three. What's the quotient? How many times will three go into four? I hope you said one thousand times. And so um, what multiplication sentence tells you how many of the thousands we distributed or used? We used three went in one time. That's one times three. So we used three thousand of that. And we're going to subtract and we're going to have one. And since we have 1,000 left over, we're going to um, bring down the 3 and turn it into hundreds. So now we have 13 hundreds. 13 hundreds divided by 3. If it helps you, you can do this, but you don't have to. 13 hundreds divided by 3. You can pause the video and try to solve it and then watch to see if you get it right. It goes into it 4 times. 4 times 3 is 12. And we subtract because we've used it. And then we're going to bring down the 2. Make sure you're keeping things nice and lined up. Now we have a new division problem again. Still dividing by 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 3 is 12. And subtract. We have 0. Are we done? Absolutely not. We have a place above the ones place. If we started here, we have to have a number above all of these. And we have to bring down the 5 now. So now we have to divide again. 5 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. When I multiply, I put it in the house. I call sister to subtract. And I have a remainder of 2. Remember, my remainder has to be smaller than my divisor. All right, we are going to check our answer by multiplying. Do you remember how to do that? I take the quotient, 1,441, times the divisor. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. So I put the 2 here, carry my 1. Remember, I add that. 3 times 4 again is 12, plus 1 is 13. So I'm going to carry the 1 and put the 3 here. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Hmm, doesn't match. Am I skipping a step? Oh, my remainder is 2. i got to add my remainder. Don't fall into that trap that I told you is so common people forget to do. Now it matches. Check, I got it right. Okay, we're going to do another problem. Write this problem into your notebook. Then draw it in the house, just like you did before. Pause the video and try to solve this problem yourself. If you get stuck, start to watch the video to help you move along. Okay, so I'm doing two thousands divided by three. How many threes are in two? None. So no number will go in the thousands place. Now I'm dividing 22 divided by three equals seven. Seven times three is 21. Sister subtracts. Rover says we have to repeat because we need two more places. So bring down one number, divide by three, 
15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. Subtract. Somebody might think they're done, but they're not. You've got to bring down the 4. Don't forget to call brother. Now I'm going to divide again. 4 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And I'm going to subtract. I have a remainder of 1. Check. Remember I take my quotient, 751 times 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15 carry my 1. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1 is 22. And then I have to remember to add my remainder. And it matches. Perfect. Okay, problem two. We have a word problem. Ellie bought two packs of beads. Altogether, she has 1,254 beads. If the number of beads in each bag is the same, how many beads are in three packs? Draw a tape diagram to help you solve this problem. Label the parts you know and put a variable to show what you're trying to find out. What conclusions can you make from your drawing? Pause the video and draw your tape diagram. Once you have it drawn, click continue. All right, so here's two different examples of possible tape diagrams. Method A has all three um, bags represented and would have the number 1,254 here. The variable would be what, um, how many beads would she have in all three bags. Method B has the two bags, that's 1,254, and I need to move this box. Oop, hold on. Need to move that box there. All right, and then this second one would be the variable of the beads. Either way, I'm going to have to divide 1,254 divided by 2 to find out how much is in one bag. And I can't go into the thousands, so I have to go into 1,200. That would be 6. Pause the video, solve the problem, check your work. Bring down the 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract. Bring down the 4. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So there's a remainder of zero. So this is how many is in one bag. To find out how many are in three bags, I have to take that quotient and times it by three. Seven times three is 21, so I have to carry a two. Three times two is six, plus two would be eight. Three times six is 18. I don't need to carry since there's no more numbers. So there are 1,881 beads in three packs. All right. Get to work on the problem set. Do a good job.